Hey folks, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you know all the things to do. Today's video is a pre-record store day, record store day. I decided it was time to get caught up on some records that I hadn't opened, so if you're into that, keep on watching. And if you're not, I totally understand. Maybe this video isn't the video for you and you want to watch some more specifically video game content. My channel has plenty of that, so by all means, feel free to check out another one of my videos or come back tomorrow for Genesis Does. But today, it's all about vinyl records because Record Store Day is coming up on Saturday, so I'm going to celebrate by opening some records, starting with this Mega Man Legends vinyl that I got from Fan Gamer. So, at least at the start, it's video game related. It's a uh, double, double sleeve, double vinyl, or at least it appears to be. Let's get a closer look here. This is the back record. It's, uh, Almost the color of the syrup box. Pretty close. It's either yellow or with the light shining through it, almost lime green. That's the second record. I think the first will probably be the same color if I remember the description when this went on sale. But there's one way to confirm that. Yep, looks like it's the same color. So, a two vinyl record set for Mega Man Legends. Moving on, we have a Schoolie D record. Schoolie D, the real hardcore, featuring Ice T with intro by. Chuck D from Rough Nation Records, Symphonic, and Schoolie D. A little bit of a modeled pattern on it. Is that purposeful or is that a printing defect? I'm gonna lean towards it being purposeful because it looks like it's just in one spot on both sides. So something to make it slightly more distinctive, I suppose, like smoke blowing across the surface. There almost always seems to be a Zarface record on Record Store Day. I've got one right here. This one's called Zar Noir. One of my favorite hip hop groups, not all time favorite, but one that I appreciate because they combine a love of comic books and hip hop together. Here's the actual record that comes inside the Zar Noir record. And this one is definitely basic black. There's, unlike the Schoolie D one, there's no patterning of any kind on it anywhere. But this one is definitely more about the presentation because it's got a full color comic book inside of it. So a very cool total package, a comic book slash record, or maybe you see it as a record slash comic book. The aforementioned Mega Man Legends 2. No sticker on the front of this. Oh, no, wait, there is right here in the corner. Double LP colored vinyl from Capcom. This is the front record. Oh, wow, that 
that's that's wild. Look at the striping and striations of the color. Multiple different shades of blue that look black when you turn them in the light. That is wild. And it's got some bonus artwork on top of it. The music of Mega Man 2, Jeremy Parrish from Retronauts and also apparently Limited Run Games. Oh, this appears to be a similar modeled blue. That's okay since I really like that color, so I'm fine with it being the same on both sides. A prior record store day. The legendary Jay Dilla's own Slum Village Fantastic Volume 2, the 20th anniversary release of Fantastic Volume 2. All right, let's see the color. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. I, I did like the blue of the Mega Man Legends, too, but that's pretty, pretty damn neat, too. Looks like a cloud. That is, that's fantastic. No pun intended. And they're both the same, although it looks like gold flakes if you look at it from this side. But I think those are, those patterns are part of both sides. Let me look at the first record again just to make sure. Yeah, you can see some gold striations there. That is super cool. A Homestar Runner related album. Strong Bad Sayings and other type hits. He's got the heart of a lion and the wings of a bat because it's midnight. A song by the fake band Limousine, although fake in the loosest sense because it was certainly real enough for their song to be featured on the cartoon and I think it might have been included in one of the Guitar Hero games. I know that the Trogdor song was. I, I feel like because it's midnight was too, but I'm not 100% certain about that. Somebody in the comments will tell me whether I'm right or wrong if anybody watches. Oh, that is sweet artwork. A punk mohawk strong bed looking like he's from the Legion of Doom battling a trogdor with a guitar coming out of its mouth. Credits, liner notes, etc. Also, thanks to Jackie Page, Angela, and Jeff. And thanks to Butch Christie, JT, and SDF1 at Ruby Red. Speaking of Ruby Red, I think that's the color of this record. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Side A. And side B with some very Teen Girl Squad style artwork on the center label. That is freaking sweet. And one more record to go. Mr. Hood from KMD. Causing much damage. If you're a fan of MF Doom, this is where he got his start. This legendary rap group. Oh, wow. Okay. That might be the coolest out of all of them. 
That is that is a wild assortment of coloring there from the printing process. Yeah, that is that is among the most unique records that I have. That coloring is just fantastic. Orange, purple, and white matching the artwork colors there on the front. Orange, purple, and white. That is outrageously good. So, hope you're all excited about Record Store Day. I know I'm looking forward to it. This is Mr. Mega Man Fan saying thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. But bye for now.